Hey name tags and welcome back. This is Ash from Heal My PC. I've got a quick one for you today. Following this article on uh, ZDNet by Mr. Ed Bot, there is a way for people to still get for free Windows 10 upgrade after the 29th of July 2016, which was the end for the free upgrade period. Now, there is a caveat. And according to Mr. Edbot and all the sources I've checked, and I'm going to put all the link in the description below, if you go to the Microsoft Accessibility page, which is here, you need to state that you are using assistive technologies and you're ready for your free upgrade to Windows 10. Clicking on Upgrade Now should take you, in theory, through the motion of upgrading. And some might say, well, what's the problem with this? The problem is that Microsoft is not checking on anyone whether they are genuinely using assistive technologies or not. So which begs the question, does Microsoft, as some would argue, still want everyone to join the Windows 10 bandwagon and they're not bothered about checking? What do you guys think? Let me know in the description below. As you can see, I also have upgraded to Windows 10, but I have done it in a way to keep both my Windows 7 and Windows 10, not through a dual boot system exactly, but I'm going to show you what I did in case of a future upgrade. And for some others who did upgrade to Windows 10 prior to the 29th of July, however, they reverted back to their previous Windows 7 or 8, there is a way for you to still, again, get back to the Windows 10, which may or may not have worked for you. But I'm going to show you a safe way to do this again for free without you having to pay anything. If you want to see this, and also if you want to see me, trying out this assistive technology windows upgrade for free let me know in the link below and click me a like don't forget to subscribe until next time peace out